here's a quick tutorial on how to make doilies and blossoms with florist paste. To make the doilies, roll some white florist paste onto a non-stick board with a non-stick rolling pin. Try and roll it out nice and finely. Next, use a scalloped circle cutter to cut out the shape. Make sure your doily isn't sticking to the board. Place it down gently and then use the end of two piping nozzles to cut out small holes. I'm using a number three nozzle to cut out holes around the edge of the doily. I'm now going to use a number two nozzle to cut out a few more holes. You can make the pattern as intricate or as simple as you like. Leave the doily to one side to dry while you make some blossoms. I'm going to use some pink florist paste and roll it out finely for the blossoms today. Again, I'm using a non-stick rolling pin on a non-stick board and I'm rolling it out really finely so we can get nice, delicate flowers. I have an assortment of cutters here. You can use any cutters you like, but I've got a little calyx cutter here which makes a nice five petal star shaped flower and some little four petal flowers here. Cut a few out and then place them onto a foam mat. You might need to use a little tool to poke them out. Once you've cut out enough blossoms, use a ball tool to shape them. Press the thin end of the ball tool very gently down into the petal to cup it up. The harder you press down, the more it will cup up. Leave the blossoms to dry for a few minutes. Lastly, we're going to roll out some green paste to make some leaves. Again, roll the florist paste out nice and finely with a non-stick rolling pin. I'm going to use a leaf plunger cutter this time to cut out the leaves. Gently press the cutter down into the paste Rub it backwards and forwards until the paste is dislodged inside the cutter. Place the cutter back down on the board and press the plunger. This will put a veined pattern into your leaf. Lift up your plunger and then eject it out onto the foam mat. To finish the leaf, gently pick it up in your fingers and fold it into a V shape and leave it to dry on your foam mat. If you would like to add some extra detail to your blossoms, you can pipe a little dot of royal icing into the centre of them. You can also use tweezers to place a little edible pearl onto that dot of royal icing that you've just added. Once you've finished your decorations, they're ready to place on your cake. I'm going to pop mine onto a cupcake today. Use royal icing to secure everything into position. And there you have some simple blossoms and a doily with some leaves.